This blog was written by Svi Ben Daniel, a member of our Un Grudo Despertar team. From the LL that is shouted in traditional Ethiopian festivals, to the sound of early instruments, to the hallelujah that is shouted in churches today, whether we know it or not, they are all related to the concept of praise in ancient Israel. The word hallel, where hallelujah comes from, is usually translated as praise or to give glory. Hallelu is simply the imperative form of the verb Hallel, and Yah is the first part of the name of the Creator. Therefore, the meaning of this ancient word would be praise Yah, or give glory to Yah. But the concept of praising or giving glory is not something concrete in English. The shortened root of Hallel also has the meaning of illuminating or shining, the same action as the glowing of a candle. In the Jewish tradition, Hallel is also the name given to Psalms 113 through 118, which were sung in the temple at the time that the lambs were sacrificed at Passover, and most likely the hymns that Yeshua and his disciples would have sung at the end of the Last Supper. As you can see, the word Hallel has a rich and complex meaning. In addition to praise, it is connected with the action of shining, such as light, either from the fire of a candle or a star just as fire and stars were used in the ancient times as reference points. They were used as objects of orientation that could be followed to reach a specific destination safely. Beyond the basic and loosely accurate translation of praise or glory, the next time you think of or say the word hallelujah, keep in mind these ancient meanings and connections, which give a deeper meaning to everything that we should attribute to Yehovah.